Hey guys, so we're back with another video. This is part two. Um, this is going to be the third heat of the men's um, 110 hurdles. Now this features two other athletes that are great. Trey Cunningham and Daylen Baird. So we're going to look at that and then we're going to jump into the semis. So guys, this is amazing. Like I said, I'm happy to be back. Like I said, yesterday I took a little time off. Because I was trying to prepare everything for today because also the men's 200 as well as the women's 200 are also today's finals. So I'm making sure to cover the rest of these videos that I have now so that way we have more room for later on to cover everything else. So now let us look at the um, Heat 3 and then we're going to jump into um, basically... Uh, the semi-finals. Okay guys? Alright. Trey Cunningham. Have you ever seen that? No. Oh. Not this level. Wow. Alright, here we go. This is Heat 3 of the men's 110 meter hurdles. And this is 25 year old Trey Cunningham. He was fourth at the last Olympic trials, but the year after he made the team, that put him on the team that ran at Worlds here, and he got the silver medal at the World Championships. Now, if this guy looks familiar, you may have seen him on the Today Show. This is Baltimore, Maryland's Dylan Beard, who, his regular job is at Walmart in the deli. And this guy, very similar to Cordell Tinch, has never given up on his dream and making that dream a reality. He still has this job, by the way, but here he is chasing his Olympic dream, and his mum Amy is here cheering him on. What a fabulous occasion this must be for her. So he's coached by my friend David Oliver at Howard University, who himself is an Olympic medalist and the world champion in this event. Okay, so this is Heat 3, so it has Matthew Lewis Banks, Michael Dixon, Trey Cunningham, Dalen Beard, um, Derek Olsen, Olsen, Davion Wilson, Vic, Daniel, and Ham Hamid Young. Alright guys, so this, this lane is very packed from lane 1 to 9. Let's see what's going to happen, okay guys? In 2013, only Grant Holloway has run faster. And remember, than among, um, top six makes it to the semifinal. Among Americans this year, so he's a contender. The great story, great He'll story. Be four, winning the 60 meters at uh, the final at Milrose Games earlier this year in New York. Let's see how far this story goes. He's unsponsored and wow. running up against some of the most talented hurdlers in the country. He's going to have company from Trey Cunningham because Trey Cunningham likes to likes this track. His personal best is on this track, 13 flat. Set. Heat three's away in the men's 110 meter hurdles. Trey Cunningham from the far right, running side by side with Dylan Beard. Beard and Cunningham, and on the inside, Michael Dixon running away. Trey gets the victory. And Michael Dixon at the top three. So like the heat before, I think okay. Trey Cunningham just equaled his season's best with that 13.12. The official confirmation, we await. Here's another look at the finish. We expected that these two would keep each other company all the way down the track, and they did. Wasn't the okay. pretty turn like right. 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 smashing hurdles left and right. So the third and fifth fastest men at this distance in 2024 okay. lined up in the first heat. And as I expected, Trey Cunningham with his usual smooth okay. hurdles. Okay. All right. I see it. to finish at any other spot other than first. But the fact that he's not spun. The, entire way the fact that there's a lot of athletes at the U.S. trials right now, most of them are not even sponsored. But they're doing such a good job. I think right after they get to like semis or finals, you just start hearing that one person has signed up to Adidas, 
one person has to sign up to Nike, Puma, like they're getting their contract right there and there. So by the time they get off their off season, they'll already be a pro athlete or they'll be a sponsored athlete at the end of this, which is pretty cool. And I think that's a good thing where now they just start distincting athletes that are um, wearing their brands and athletes that are unbrand. They're wearing all black and they don't have a logo on their um, uniforms. I think that's actually a very cool thing because it's like that way you know what athletes that want to be sponsored without them physically telling you that. I think that's a cool thing to, to be uh, aware of. So Trey Cunningham as well as Dalen Baird made it to the first top two seats. Pretty cool. Even though he was hitting hurdles the entire way, those two are into the next round, taking four others with them, and Cunningham does equal his season's best. And Davian Wilson just edged out Michael Dixon for that top three spot. Here's Amy. That's Dylan Good job. Cheering him on. Super job. And you'll see Dylan again in the semifinals. So we're going to stop it here. So like I said, congratulations on the Heat 3. So Trey Cunningham got his personal best there as well as he hit the same time. Uh, Dalen Beard has a 13-19. And then Davion Wilson as well as Michael Dixon and Daniel and as well as the like, Hamid Young. All top six men are now heading to the semifinal. So, so congratulations guys and I'll see you guys in the next video which will be the semifinal. And then we will jump into the final. Now I'm already predicting that Grant Hollow is going to run something stupid at the semis. And then I think he's going to even win the, 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 the final by a long margin. We already saw what he did in the previous video. What he just did already shows what we already need to know. So there's no other thing I could say about that. So I'll see you guys in the next video and shout out to everybody that is watching the Olympics um, trials right now, especially some of the YouTubers that are covering it. I congratulate you guys. There's a lot of cool information that I receive and I think I can't wait to share it with my fan base. So congratulations to so many people that are covering it. I just want to shout out a special channel which is Race Take. Race Take is literally my favorite channel to watch track and field information so shout out to the person that created race take mr ray himself i think like he's an amazing information he's he's very very cool i think that the information that you get from him you won't get it anywhere else you go very in depth into what track and field is and i think that i will leave his um channel down below to shout out his channel I think that, like I said, he's one of those persons that hopefully in the future I would love to meet face to face and just just thank him that there'll be days that I have my ups and downs and track has always been my comfort zone when things life is very challenging. Track has always been that comfort zone where I could just talk to people about and then we will find similarities that athletes that we may like. And athletes that we may feel as if that needs to, you know, get it to a certain level. So congratulations to all those people. Like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be the men's semifinal. And then we will jump into the final right after this. Um, after that, we'll take a little small break, like a three-minute break. And then we'll jump into the Jamaican trials for the men's and women's 100 meters. All right, guys. I'll see you guys soon.